What's up everybody, Sean Krames here at Scratch DJ Academy. We're in my studio today to talk about how to make dance music bass lines. Electronic music, dance music bass lines, where do they come from? It's a mono synth. You're talking about one note at a time here, so don't get too concerned about whether or not you can play chords. We're gonna create all the harmonics within the machine. What we have is a Eurorack synthesizer set up here, but you at home might have something like a Moog, or you might have something like a VST called Massive or something like that. And that's okay because bass lines and bass line synthesizers were created a long time ago really because not everybody could play bass guitar and not everybody had a session guitarist in the studio. So when you didn't, you just get a bass synthesizer and it gets pretty close and it sounds really nice. Here is a simple sequencer going into a Eurorack setup. I'm going to be using one oscillator, a filter, which is very important. I'm going to be using an ADSR envelope generator. And then I'm going to be using an amplifier to combine my envelope with what's coming out of the pitch of my oscillator. Now if I go over to my sequencer, I've already laid out a little bit of a bass line here for you guys to take a listen to. So I'm just going to press play on my sequencer and let's see what happens. That's pretty cool. You know, I've got some pitch going, little roll. I've got an ADSR right here. Now you notice those notes were pretty short. That's because on my ADSR, I've got a gate coming in and I've set my release time to a really short release time. But what happens on your bass line when you want longer bass notes? I'm adjusting my release there. Changing the release time throughout the track on a bass line can create so much depth and change within your song that you really don't have to do that much with a good bass line to let it ride. Just as a bass player, you might mute it out for a little bit, tap the strings, then give some real long notes in there. Those variations are what makes, make tracks interesting and that's what makes dance music hypnotic. So that you can hear that same pounding bass line over and over again and so much change going on. Let's take a look at how to use the filter to really create amazing depth and warmth with our bass lines. What I'm first gonna do here is adjust a simple cutoff. Now this filter is made to sound like Prophet 5. So you might recognize it. It's a pretty famous filter sound. Now all I'm moving is the cutoff. What you hear, those awesome accents at the top end, is resonance. Resonance creates that ringing that you hear in bass lines all the time. Now what it does is it creates a resonant peak at the tip of the filter. Now we're back to where we were before, right? So let's see what happens when we take that envelope that we've been using to open and close our oscillator and we use it to move the filter up and down while the bass line is playing. I could just twist around on this filter all day and press record and then you have a track. Like, the bass line is so important to your dance music production. Your filter is so important to creating that variation. As you can hear, just in these little licks we're doing right here. Here's your outro. We took a bass line that when we started just sounded, it's just a square wave. One square wave from any oscillator, massive, silent, whatever you prefer to use. We've adjusted the release. And we turned around the cutoff on a filter and we took our envelope and we added it to the cutoff of the filter. And you can see just right there how much amazing 
content you can create with your bass lines. So I was just turning around the cutoff and the resonance on the filter on my Eurorack synthesizer. But if you're in something like Massive, you'd be able to find those things right here. Or if you're in Logic, you'll be able to find those things right here. Or just Ableton without Massive, which is what I would usually use. You can find those things right here. They're available everywhere. So you can get that color and that creative sound that you've been looking for and hearing in all this dance music. It's right there, literally at your fingertips. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you learned something about making dance music bass lines. If you did, please like and subscribe to our YouTube page for updated content regularly.